Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the switch function to perform lookups. Now according to Microsoft, this is what the switch function does. It evaluates one value called the expression against a list and returns a result corresponding to the first matching value. And, and really what it does is it's performing a lookup. Now if you're familiar with lookups like lookup or vlookup, I'm just going to use lookup, right? Let's say for example we want to have this department code and we want to bring back uh, the values here, the region, right? Let me press F4 to lock that in so when it copies down it doesn't change. B2 will change to B3, B4, B5, right? Press enter and we have 1, 2, 3, that's America's. Double click the fill handle here and you can see it copies down. Now this is a small table to do a lookup from and to use that much real estate for a small table it's probably better to have something that's kind of in memory, right? Also, if for some chance you erase this table, let's erase it, press delete, look what happens, it disappears. So what we want to do is we want to kind of have it inherent in the function itself, and that's what switch does. Let's see how that gets done. Control Z to undo this, and let's delete this and bring the switch function in. I just type switch. By the way, the switch function is available in Office 365, the subscription of it. It's not available in any other version of Excel 2016 and previous. So if you have Excel 365, you've got the switch function. If not, you're going to have to use a lookup. And I guess that's the nice thing about Office 365 is you get all these new functions and they update it a little bit more often. So how do we do this use the switch function? We're going to do our expression. That's going to be our looked up value. And you can see these value results pairs, right? So we're going to take it our first value, right? Our first value is 1, 2, 3, and the result that we want to bring back is America, AMR for America. The second value is going to be 3, 4, 5, and the result of that is going to be EMEA. Oops, EMEA, and the reason why I put that in quotes is because it's a string. And the third value is going to be 7, 8, 9. And the result that I want to bring back is APC, APCJ. And a default value, if it doesn't find anything, what do we want it to bring back? And this is kind of the nice thing about switch. It doesn't give you like a NA, like some error. You can actually put something that says, OK, if it doesn't find anything, I'll just gonna, I'm just going to call it TBD some value or we can say not found. So this is just kind of some arbitrary text that we can put in there for anything that's not found. Close parentheses, press enter. You can see we have a mirror there. Double click to send to copy the formula down and you can see we have our lookups. I can delete this now. Control, I just press delete and nothing happens, right? Because it's all within the formula there. So it's a nice way to do lookups when your looked up table is not too big, of course, if it's too big, then it becomes unwieldy and it's probably better to use a lookup or VLOOKUP formula or index, index and match. But if it's a small table you're looking up, it's actually pretty nice to have that in there so you don't have to create a separate lookup table for that. One thing to note is you can only have up to 126 matching values and results and that's not that bad because I don't think you want to type that much into your formula, right? So that's how we can use the switch function to perform lookups. It's available in Office 365, and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.